Greetings and salutations. Hi, welcome to the Tim of Fork Show. We'll be doing, in today's episode, we'll be doing the Synth Wave TFO. It's this seasonal event, first contact day. And uh, so I thought I should do it. It's the last day of it for me to need to do it for the rewards. So sorry it took me so long. Uh, joining the TFO, not as a random TFO. Usually it opens pretty quickly. Sorry about the background noise there. This is a historic Mount Montana on planet Earth to celebrate First Contact Day in one of three ways to fend Mars from the sink in a recreation of the original fateful attack. Construct and race your own model Phoenix rocket or defend Phoenix launch from a temporal incursion by the Borg. Complete one activity daily to earn your way towards this event grand prize. After completing and claiming the grand prize, keep playing to earn a daily bonus reward of dilithium, or these bonus rewards grow larger each day they are earned. Oh, I should actually do a video about the One Night in Bozeman as well, because that is awesome. I do believe that years ago I did the model rocket launch video already. So if you look through my old videos, you want to see that? Okay, except it definitely should do that other one with the Borg since this is a Borg themed YouTube channel and I'm a Borg themed Star Trek Online captain. <laughs> Using my uh, captains, it is with solemn purpose that we ask you to partake in this simulation. History is often a teacher, it lets us analyze our mistakes and our triumphs. Indeed, the lessons of history can help us to better ourselves. To this end, you will be taught the tragedy of the synth attack on Mars in 2385. Okay. The synth are compromising the defense network. Engineers are stranded on the surface and need to be transported to safety. Mm. Okay. Rescued engineers can be beamed to transport vessels. The transports will rendezvous back at the orbital habitat to load additional refugees for evacuation. Engineers can also be transported to mothballed starships. Once there, they can activate those vessels to assist in the fight. I see, said the blind man. Once resisting the synth advance is no longer tenable, you will defend the transport vessels as they make their way to the navigational beacons and warp out of the combat area. The synth area. are turning the defense net against targets on Mars. Okay. Sorry if I had the PC audio up to Evacuate the engineers at the outer perimeter first. Okay. Yeah, I've done this heaps of times, obviously. It is fun. This isn't the most maneuverable ship. So the giant. Crenon time ship. In the year of hell episodes of uh, Voyager. So yeah, you need to go above these zones and beam people up, and then you need to beam them to these things, uh, to the transports, and there's also cruisers and that stuff. There's a command battle cruiser there. Maybe I should increase the power to my engines. Actually, I think that was auxiliary. This is engines. Okay, that's better. Beam crew. Yeah, I was just saying, with Ruma, my main Timo character, I don't think I've done any videos using this guy for a while. I know I've don't, um, no, I did do one, didn't I? I don't know. Yeah. I did a review on this ship, I think, as well. It's a good ship. It's fun. Actually, I just bought the Baran last night. The Baran. I don't know why I found it so funny. It's named after the Russian shuttlecraft. I'm sure we talked about that. I actually went ahead and bought it. 
I actually only had to buy $35 with the Zen because Zen charge bonus, and it was also a thousand Zen cheaper than usual, so it's only four thousand Zen. Anyway, being crew to frigate, you gotta get really close to them, like within two kilometers to beam. I need evasive maneuvers, I can't get it. Like, hurry up! <sighs> so, yeah, you're supposed to start around the outside and try to beam as many people over. Obviously, the more of this option, um, these like prerequisites you get done, probably the more um, you know rewards you're gonna get, bonus rewards, and you know, like plus rates. So, obviously, you know, try to play to the best of your ability to get the best amount of rewards. I don't know why it's not popping up with the dialogue then, I don't know. That one just disappeared. Who did it? Because I didn't see anyone doing it. Sometimes people fly that. Oh, see, another one just disappeared. Was it that guy? Okay, that was fast. Ah, oh, there's a transport there. Stop, stop. Ah, oh, see, he's out of range. Come on. So obviously this is a recreation of a battle from uh, Star Trek Picard um, that we didn't get to see much of, only like a few minutes of actual footage. A few seconds of footage, a few minutes would have been nice to be honest. Defense satellites are turning to synth control. The operational area is about to get smaller. Until lately anyway, they've been getting Discovery and Fall back to the next defensive perimeter. They, uh, they're always traditional, Star Trek always traditional. never showed enough battles or words talking about battles. Hardly any action footage. No, no, no. The Battle of War 359 is maybe two minutes of footage. From both, guess to both words. The Emissary. Space 9 pilot. What was that what it's called? Whatever the Deep Space Nine pilot is called, I think. I'm probably about right. I'm like a walking Star Trek encyclopedia, you know? Even the shows that aren't my favorites. Should call some more backup, but I didn't think there wasn't like much to fight until now. So, take some polymorphic probes. The outer perimeter is lost. Fall back and rescue as many people as you can. Oh, uh, I'm gonna die, right? I need to get back out of that. Sorry, it's about to kill me. Uh, there you go. I'm in a good look. It shouldn't be able to kill me there. I was back. That's so unfair. Oh, I survived. That's because I'm like the best tank there is. I need a... Um, to transport this one. I need to heal as well. And die. Come on, get within two kilometers. Target shields have failed. Where are there more transports? Oh, I really hate it how like they run away from you and you've got to keep like deselecting the people who are too far away constantly. I should go to that transport, but you find not. Okay. Come on. Get there. I don't know why it's spinning when I didn't press the button. Bugs galore. I get so many bugs on my account. It's not funny, really. I need to write a letter to, or join the bug reporting team or something. I need to write a letter to cryptic about how bugs get. <laughs> you know, since I stopped playing games, I'm playing again. There's like a dozen new bugs that weren't there that I don't remember. So all the time, like my traits are always deselecting. <laughs> or switching back to op previous versions of what I had selected. I mean, I've been saving my layout. People in my fleet said, save layouts. The loadouts on your ship. That shouldn't make any difference because it's not supposed to be to do with your traits for starters. So those systems should not be tied together in the software. Um, and yeah. I never had to do that in the past. And it doesn't really work anyway for me all the time. It still bugs out. 
Sometimes I have to just like close the game and reopen it because it's bugged out so much. Sometimes I have trouble, to, just before I was having trouble with slowing stations on my new Jim Adar character. Um, it's totally crazy. Not allowing me to select what powers I want. Have had that happen to you? Let me know. Drop a button and tell me what your <laughs> drop drop a comment and tell me what your uh, most annoying bug in the game is. Come on, Krenim. Oh, I actually just sent, spent some endeavor points on making ship maneuverable ability faster. I wish it would like focus on the ships in front of it. Why aren't you shooting or doing more satellites are coming under synth control. Operational area is approaching 50%. Those satellites will pulverize us if we stay here. Fall back! Why am I not getting a message to beam up? Oh, that guy. Don't you steal this from me? Okay. Oh. Find another one. Go past it, really. Are. Ah, drifting. Good 86. Me and my Toyota references are. Huh? Oh, you should know now how much I like those since I've been doing actually some live streams on PlayStation Grand Turismo and we're driving the 86 things. <laughs> we are 86, obviously, I'm going to. So, anyways, you know, just the best drift car you can buy at the moment. We're almost out of ships to bring survivors to. Bring any additional crews to the station and beam them over. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before the defense net what destroys everything on the die. surface. Get out of here. Beam up any remaining survivors and get them to the safe zone. No. Thank you. I need to find something. Oh yes. I've got to take my stuff back. He said you can take it back there. There's not many transports left. Pull back up. On oh, beam crew to station. Oh, don't go too low. That's crazy. Look at that. I didn't want that to happen. Hurry up. Do some healing. I don't have anything to heal with the tactical officer. There's some more. There. Come on, select a ship. Come on. I love rock and roll. Oh no, that guy's gonna steal it from me, isn't he? Oh wait, go away, is it the same guy from before? I don't know. Yeah, alright, being crew. Oops, I pressed those in the wrong order. Try to assimilate them. No, they've got to be within 3 kilometers for that assimilate button to work. It's probably assimilating feature, that is, of course. And they're going to cause area damage for a greater distance. Fall back to the station. The safe zone is only 15 kilometers in radius. Oh, look, that just popped up. I thought I already beamed out of that one. For it. The station is okay, deploying additional transports and has begun uh -oh. evacuation Let's procedures. Get out of there. That line area. Pull back to the station that perimeter. Is. Do not let the sit through. A lot of fire at will. Oh, especially when battles happen later. It goes crazy. Beam station crew. It's like too low on the station. Beam crew station. I'm not going to select that chaos one. So annoying. Bright lights. Oh no! I want to select ships that are actually in range, please. I should automatically deselect them. So 
go out of the range, they just fly around too fast. Like, oh, okay, those chickens. It's not one of my favorite sayings there. All ships, total around defense and corruption is imminent. Ensure as many transports escape the area as possible. What I call tanking is not the same as what the meta on YouTube for people think is tanking. Transports en route to Beacon Alpha are requesting Try protection. Try to quicker. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I went thumb down my video for saying that. I'll get these. There are transports like, en route to Beacon ship. Beta. So with a lot of hull, a big ship. And, um, and having a lot of like healing abilities, so you don't die all the time. Also, it's still being powerful. Which would mean that you don't focus on the DPS as well. I'm not sure that you can focus for Beacon Gamma. I only really focus on healing and then never die. But that was the most fun. I couldn't be killed even in PvP. Every killing ability there was. That took me like five minutes just to kill one enemy, but you know. <laughs> at least they couldn't kill me, no chance. Transports are in route to beacons I was Alpha and Beta. I'm not dying, I'm not dying. I'm not losing. Using my pet. Gotta get better with transports like, uh, to beacon beta and gamma. So I'm, I'm not forgetting, I just don't have like enough to look in and play codes at the same time. And then I'm always busy just trying to grind for my characters. That will team and stuff. Anyway. Transports en route to both Alpha and Gamma beacons. Transports are headed to all three beacons. Better just to have like beams, because I've got my damn dual beam banks. I'm going to talk to you about most like the face kind of thing. They just never. They never in front of you to shoot them, you know? They can fly around so fast, it's quite annoying. <laughs> so the best kind of ship for this particular tier, I would, or anything where there's swarmers, is probably just a beam boat, 100% beam boat. Sometimes I'm thinking about going back to that. I used to only do that. I never used to do um, torpedoes or anything until people call me eyes with the DPS. But then you know what? If half the time you can't shoot, or three quarters of the time, or 90% of the time you can't shoot, that's not good for your DPS. Being back to get you know, and I'm not good at to say now. Well, things do the last transport. DPS All ships. Then, uh, We've done all we can. Disengage at once. Sorry. We're back inside. I think I just kicked her out before because she sits on the mouse now. Yeah, yeah, that's where she is right now. Oh, yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> she has colors. Uh, maybe I should need a webcam so you can see what's happening. Actually, I actually have to make a key. Save the video. Let's actually have that option also, please. <laughs> I'm still just using the, the Windows 10 screencasting software out of the Xbox suite. It's pre-installed. And yeah, I'm not using Windows 11 because yeah, I'm not going to put up more bugs. I can't stand bugs already. I don't know my bugs with Windows 10. My Computer Hulk program. When it comes to Captain's the the simulation is now and concluded. User interface. They ruined Windows Though 11. it may not seem it, that was a fine showing. In the face of insurmountable odds, your actions would have saved many lives had you been present on that fateful day. 
Well done. Thank you, Burgess. What should I take? Um, I'll take Wakari Mux. Get some of that chicken. How did we do? Survived. Use my stats. Total 143 out of 182. Refugee crew saved. 143. Though it may not seem it, that was a fine showing. In the face of insurmountable odds, your actions would have saved many lives had you been present on that fateful day. Well done. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, and this is the bonus you get. I usually just select experience bonus pool. The other stuff is just silly worthless stuff. Um, titles, yeah. This is Ryzen, leaving simulation, warp out. Yeah, that's a Zim Horizon CPU. I'm using them since they came out. So good. On to Horizon 5 now. 5000, I mean. Anyway, oops, shouldn't bring that open. Okay, so next time I'll do the Bozeman one. Oh, yeah, but in this look, I got to claim the reward finally. Isn't that awesome that I made this video on the day where you can do that? So you can see what the reward is. Alright, special re requisition pack. Combat Synth Android. Yay! Hello, Synth Android. So I think you can probably reclaim that. I think it's an account unlock. And then these other things, I think I already had them. Yeah, look, see now I've got two of these rockets. Shuttle freighter. Okay. And then tomorrow I'll get bonus to live here. So, do I have to equip this guy? He's a combat pet. That's pretty cool. Let's just check to see if I have to equip, uh, equip him. Is he going to show up in this list without being equipped? Probably not. It's quite annoying. <laughs> no. So. Must equip. Maybe he's better than that. Or maybe I should have that instead of this. I could have three backup people. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, yep, yeah, this is my Timo of Borg. Timmy of Borg. You know what? I think he was actually like the second character I created, or the first. I don't know. Maybe it was the first. Yeah. Tactical, before I realized that I liked Engineer better. Yep, yeah, and that's my ship. Krenum Anorax has been upgraded to the T6X. It's quite nice, quite lovely. If I do say so myself. And yeah. Just got that. Oh, I need to upgrade this. Yes. Walker fire controls. It shows how behind I am catching up to the game. I only just got to Discovery Tier 5 on the reputations. Anyway, alright. So I guess I should be able to call this a review by giving it a rating and saying what I think of it. That was really good. As far as I know, that's the only like mission or PVE queue that a piece of content that has to do with um, Star Trek Picard that's in the game, besides, um, you know, things like that droid and um, ships. There's a couple of ships, obviously. All the ships that are in that TFO are from Picard, as far as, like, there's the synth ships, right? Um, and then there's also the copy-paste, what's it called? That ship <laughs> from the end of the season. Yeah, so... Well, there's all the ships from it, but just with, they haven't done any like missions yet. So hopefully they're working on that soon. I don't know why they haven't. Um, you know, since Picard's near the end of season two. Um, yeah. Anyhow, I guess I should give it a review. For my I've got a warp core rating system out of ten. One. So I would say that PVE Q is quite fun and entertaining. Um, it's a shame though that you know we couldn't get like Picard to be in the game and. Or any voice actors from anyone besides Seven of Nine. I mean, they could have had Seven of Nine do that instead of Burgess, because she's in Picard. There's the connection. Um, but oh, why can't we get Gerardi or someone else, you know, um, from Star Trek Picard in the game to do voice act that particular synth raid episode? Uh, anyway, that would mean I could give it a more higher rating, like a nine or something. But because it's only Burgess. Um, who's quite a boring voice actor <laughs> compared to someone who's actually 
in the TV show, Burgess is just a character they made up in Star Trek Online, so it's just any random act, cheap voice actor. It could be someone who works at Cryptic, so they don't have to pay extra money to voice actors, because I heard they're doing that. Half the devs are characters in the game, right? Um, it's been like that since the beginning. At the beginning, the voice acting was only, mostly just the developers of the game, um, and, you know, like, what was his name? The captain of the Enterprise? He was like the guy who was the CEO of Cryptic, um, I think, at the time, or the, you know, lead developer, maybe, or something, whatever. I can't remember what his name is off the top of my head right now. Anyhow, so I'll probably give it a 7.62 um, out of 10 warp cores. <sighs> Just because of the fact that it's Burgess instead of somebody else. Um, and it's quite a hard one, you know. And also, it takes a while before you like get to um, shoot anyone sometimes. And I worry that I might like not get rewards, like get called AFK for not shooting straight away. You know how normally you got to shoot like within two minutes or something, or a minute and a half of a TFO starting, or you might get, um, you know, called out for being AFK'd away from keyboard. So I don't know. That, that doesn't actually happen. They can probably adjust that per mission. Who knows? Talking, rambling on. Yeah. So there you go. Seven point six two is my rating for this video. Uh, TFO synth wave. Uh, which you probably can access through here, I don't know. Yes, here it is, eligible for that. Play to earn daily progress in the event once per day. During this event, TFO also rewards choice of marks. Run a holodeck simulation of the 2385 synth attack on Mars, which is, you know, quite a long time before this game. Um, they need to upload, I mean, update the law of this game to reflect things from Picard, because, and even like this, you know, uh, it's not in there, so if you go down to like Earth Space Dock and you try to do the the lore of 2410, Path to 2410 I think they call it, they've got like saying crazy stuff like Data's still alive and Data's the captain of the Enterprise, you got to remember that right, but Data's actually dead and didn't get to be the captain of the Enterprise. Um, in New Canon, Geordi wasn't able to turn B4 into Data for some reason, you know, bit of a travesty. Maybe that's what they'll do in Season 3, go back in time and find some way to save data. I don't know. <laughs> Since I know, have you heard that all the uh, all the Star Trek crew, TNG crew, are returning for Season 3? That's going to be exciting. Except they didn't say, Wesley, what about Paul Wesley? I want closure on Wesley. You know? Oh, look, I just found some Phoenix things in my inventory. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. I'll sort that out later. Thanks for watching this video from the Tumble Book Show. Please thumbs up and favorite likes and subscribe. Oh wait, there's one more thing I want to do. Look, I can use this guy now. Let's check him out. Hello, synth droid. Ooh, hello. Mmm, K9. Ha ha, that's funny, like a dog. No wonder they turned against us if we gave them names like K9. God. I'd turn against you if you called me K9 as well. Mm, hello, replicated data. Uh, Sun type android, positronic brain. Mm, I do prefer robots to be like not made from biological stuff. They should be like plastic and metal, and silicon, like this guy, you know. Maybe he calls them plastic people. That guy. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, look, he malfunctioned. Now that was hilarious. Did you see that? Cool. Okay, I give that reward probably heaps, you know, like a 9 out of 10. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, well thanks for watching this video from Tim Borg Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, live long and prosper.